Welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Power BI. Do not forget to click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how can we combine multiple CSV files to create a single table in Power BI. So without wasting any time let's jump to Power BI. Let me first show you the CSV files that we need to combine to create a single table in Power BI. I am using the sample superstore dataset and here are five different CSV files for each of the region that we have in the dataset. Let me show you one CSV file. This is the sample superstore dataset for the central region and in each of the CSV files we have five different rows. Let me show you for the East region. So this is the sample superstore data set for the East region and similar to central region superstore data set here also we have five rows. The requirement is that we need to combine these four CSV files into a single table in Power BI. First step is that we will create a new folder. Click on folder and let's name this folder as region data and drag all the CSV files that we need to combine in this folder. For now, I have not added this West region sales data. I will be adding this CSV file later in the tutorial. Now let's jump to Power BI. To import all the CSV files in Power BI, we will go to get data drop down and here click on more. Now here you will see the option of folder. Just click on folder. Click on connect and here we will give the path of the folder where we have added all the CSV files. So this is the folder that I need to import in Power BI. Just copy this folder path and paste here. Click on OK. Now you might have observed that we have four different CSV files in this region data folder. Now the Power BI is displaying all the four CSV files, the extension .csv and few details like when the data was accessed or when the data was modified and the path where the CSV file is stored. Now at the bottom you will find this combine drop down. Here when I click on this drop down you will see combine and transform data and the other option is for combine and load. If the data that you are using is a clean data then you can click on combine and load and if you need to do some transformations to the data set then just click on this combine and transform data. I will suggest you to click on this combine and transform data to cross check the data types for different columns that are present in your data set and to give the correct name to the table. So click on combine and transform data. So here we can see the preview of the first file. Click on the drop down. So first file is the central CSV and if you want to maybe check the preview of east csv file then just select east csv and the preview will be displayed here. So here we have the preview for the east region csv file. Now click on ok. Now we will be redirected to the power query editor window. You will observe that Power BI has applied few steps to combine the multiple CSV files that were present in the folder into a single table. 
here you can see the names of the four csv files that were present in the folder in the starting i told you that each of the csv file has five records so we can do a cross check to check whether all the data has been imported in power bi so go to group by let's do a group by on source dot name column we need to count the rows so click on ok here you will observe that five rows for each of the csv files has been imported into power bi now let's remove this step if you want you can even rename the query name here now the benefit of adding all the csv files in a single folder is that suppose the next day another region file gets added up in that folder let me add the west region sales csv file also in this region data folder so now go to power query editor window and here you will see the option refresh preview just click on refresh and now you will see that the west region csv file has also been imported here let's do a cross check click on group by we need to do a group by on source dot name column and need to count the rows click on ok so now we have five different csv files combined into a single table in power bi let's remove this step once you have done all the transformations we can click on close and apply now the power bi is loading the data in this way you can make use of folder option under get data to combine multiple csv files into a single table in power bi this was all that i had to cover in this session i hope this session was helpful do not forget to click on the thumbs up button if you like this video see you in the next tutorial